Hello everyone, welcome to StampinScrapper.com. I'm Joyce Whitman and I am your independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up. I'm glad you could join me tonight. Tonight I have some great, hi Mandy, some great projects to share with you. Tonight I'm going to be doing Paper Pumpkin. But first I wanted to let you know, guess what goes live tomorrow? Woohoo! Hey, my nails kind of match that, don't they? This catalog will go live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm so excited. It is going to be fabulous. There are so many wonderful products, beautiful papers. You're going to have to check it out. If you don't have a catalog, please let me know, and I'll be happy to get one to you. Okay, I have lots of projects to share with you today, so we're going to go ahead and get started. In the May Paper Pumpkin, Shelly, our co-founder and board member, designed this kit herself. It is beautiful, let me tell you. So this is the, comes in this beautiful box. Look at those flowers, love the flowers. So you open it up and it usually has tissue paper in it. This time I went ahead and I opened it because I needed to get some of the supplies out. So, but you're gonna have here, we're gonna make these four and then I'm gonna show you different things to do with them. And it gives you the instructions right here, how to make them, perfect. Now, these are the four cards that we have. Look at, here's beautiful birds. Look at this nest. I got some really cute cards to do with this. And this is nice, this is kind of like a newspaper. And then the flowers, oh, see they match the box. Beautiful. You will also get in here this little embellishment kit. And I'll show you what's in it. Now, I didn't use anything out of this because I had already used, um, had leftovers for my other kit. So I did not use any of these. But here we have the string. Look how beautiful that is. We, this is Baker's Twine. And this is a petal pink um, twine fuzzy kind of ribbon. It's really cool. Then we have the velvet ribbon. Beautiful. And then there's also, oh my gosh, in this little pack here, you are going to get, if I can get it open, you're going to get, okay, so you get dimensionals, which I'm going to keep out because I need those, and you get glue dots, and look at these, this is what I love, look at these little birds, there's four of them, look how cute those are, now we're only going to use two of them, because to tell you the truth, I forgot about them. So I have them on two of the cards, though. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in here, because we're not going to use any of these. Like I said, I had leftovers from the other kit that I used. So we'll stick those in there. And you will also get, now some of these, because I have quite a few cards I'm going to share with you tonight, I went ahead and did some of the th stuff ahead of time, because you don't need to watch me do that. But you're going to get three of the medium, uh, small, three of the large, and six of the um, medium ones for you just stamp your sentiments on. Then we're going to get uh, four feathers, and we're going to be using those, so I'm going to keep those out, and flowers. And these punch right out, and again, I'm going to be using those. Your ink pad today is early espresso, and look at this beautiful, let me put behind us, there we go. Look at the stamp, see if I can, there we go. Grateful, hello, the feather for you, love, little blotches, the um, two birds, you got one here, one here, the flowers that match the flowers on this paper in the box. This is the and sign and the and hugs, thank you, dear friend. Really, really pretty, um, oh, what do I want to call, um, stamp set. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put those back in there, and then you also have Hi, Deanne. Thank you for joining. You also have envelopes that will go with it. You have three that have feathers, three that have the blue flowers, and three that have the just the pink flowers, and then three for the nest. Now, I did not use the um, envelopes except for the first four that we're going to do and make it like the kit says to me because I. Um, changed them around. I wanted bigger cards, 
So I actually am going to cut out mine. I want to, I had some dimensionals left over and I thought I had left them sitting out, but now I can't find them. So we'll just use the new pack. Okay, so we don't need this. We'll put that one away because I have the big one. Okay, so let me show you the first four cards. And I'll show you how we're going to make them. This is your first card. This is the one we're going to do first. So let me get out. Like I said, I went ahead and I did some of the cutting and stuff ahead of time so that um, you don't have to sit here and watch me do that. But we're going to make this card first right here. So I'll put that there and get out. Oh, I found my dimensional. There we go. Okay, we're going to use Early Espresso is a lot one that we will use a lot. Another one that I'm going to use is Pretty Peacock. So those are the two inks that I'm going to use today. But we're going to start with the Early Espresso. Let me move these off to the side. Okay, so this is the one that we want to start with here today. Now the Grateful For You is on the medium one. I went ahead and already stamped it for you. And what's really nice is for the For You, see how the Grateful, the F comes down? They purposely left enough space between the four and the U for that to fit right in there, which is really nice. So we're, that I already stamped for you, and I already went ahead and cut this. But let's grab our base for that. And this is going to be the base for this one. Get our ribbons off to the side for a minute. Okay. Remember always to use a bone folder to do your creases because you want a sharp fold there. Okay, so what I did is because see, you can't really see my bird here very well. So this one, I'm going to be smart. And I'm going to put this kind of where I want it so I can see where to stamp my birds. Okay, so we're going to use this one and this one. And I use everything on the stamp set except for the letter and the symbol for and and the love. But otherwise, I have used every stamp in the stamp set. Okay, so let's start. We I'm going to do these two birds here first. So, whoops, nope, that's not the one I want. I want this one first. Okay. I'm just going to put this, I kind of want it like that. So I know I'm going to want this one in this area. So pull this away so I don't get it on there. Stamp it. And I'm going to put it back up where I wanted it. Okay, so now this one I know was down too far, so I need to bring this little guy up just a little bit. Bring him up there. Perfect. And get out our chamois. That is so wonderful for stamping. Uh, cleaning our stamps now. I just love it. And then I just want to add another one up here because remember you do everything in odds. So I had two birds already. I needed to add a third one in. Okay, so now we can close that up. And again, remember to close up your ink pads so you do not get it on your projects. Now the baker's twine, you're going to cut 29 inches from this. And you want to leave a I call it a tail, but up here, because you're going to tie a bow on there, and I don't want to do that yet. I want to put this on first. There we go. Yep. I want to put this one on first. So I'm going to put the velvet ribbon down first, and what I did, now remember I told you it came with blue dots, but I like mine, these that Stampin' Up! sells, because you can, they're really easy to get off, except for when you tie the ribbon on too tight. And you kind of kind of pull it until you use some of them. But what I do is I take the ribbon and I just stick the glue dot to the back of the ribbon and pull off. And that is going to adhere my ribbon. Oh, I have to take my ribbon off. The reason I put my ribbon on there is because, number one, it keeps this together. And then I can tell exactly where my next glue dot is. Okay. Now, I purposely did not put glue dots on the very ends because I want to trim it, but I'm not going to trim it until it's on my card, because I want to make sure I get it right where I want it. The first time, thank goodness, they give us a little extra ribbon. First time I did it, I messed it up. I'm like, forget it, we're going to leave it on. And then I just go in and I trim it. 
and it looks a lot nicer. And if you need to, you can always go back and add a glue dot on the end if it's needed. Okay, now we can do our baker's twine. So what I was saying is I want to leave a tail because I want to do a flower there. And you know what? I learned a trick. Let me see. I forgot to grab. What did I do with it? I thought I set. Oh, I put it in here. So I knew where it was. Okay. Have you seen these kind of tweezers before where you have to squeeze them? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick about making bows with them. And it's very comes and very handy. I heard it somewhere online one time, and I'm like, really? I don't think it'll work. Well, guess what? It works, and I use it every time I have to tie a bow. Because usually what I do is I make cheater bows, where I wrap it around, tie a bow, and put it on with a Velcro. I don't know Velcro. Um, blue dot. But this time we're going to do it this way. So I wrapped it around twice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull this tight. You take these tweezers. So you can see it. You take these tweezers and you're going to put it right where your knot is. I'll bring it up so you can see. See where it's right over my knot? And guess what? It doesn't move. So you tie your bow. Well, if I could tie a bow today, we would tie it. I am not the best bow maker. I really am not. Half of the time I have to tie it upside down. I don't know what I do. Just like right now, I'm really making a mess out of this. Probably because I have one of them way too long and the other one too short. Okay. But we will make it work. Okay, so I got it tight where I want it. So I'm going to pull this out and then tighten it up. And then you have your bow right there. Now this one's going to be a little bit shorter, the string is, because I did it a little bit short, but it's okay. There you go. And now it doesn't, it didn't move and it stayed right where I wanted it to. Now, I already stamped it for the grateful for you. And we're going to add one of our feathers. And the feathers are made out of vellum. So again, you need to watch where you're putting your adhesive because adhesive will show through vellum. So what I did was, see this part here where it's darker? I took my glue dots. Now this time I used my paper piercer, um, which is retiring today. Or you could use the take your pick tool. I have to say, I always reach for my paper piercer and don't think about this until I'm like, oh, I should have used that tool. So you're just going to pick it up and you're going to put it where it's dark. So when I look at this one, I can tell. I want it to only adhere part of it on there. So I'm going to put it down towards the bottom. And I think if I remember correctly, I counted up six. One, two, three, four, five, six veins. And I put one up there because that's what I knew was the highest I wanted to go. And then I'm going to put another one in the middle. So I want to make sure it's secure. Now I'm putting this all on the dark side because I don't want it to... Um, show. If I put it here where it's lighter, it's going to show. So I'm going to just line this up. Put it on here. Okay, now we're going to be going over quite a bit of ribbon here. And this is actually, I don't have any adhesive on it in the back yet. This is actually going to stick in underneath. But you want to use dimensionals because you want that to pop up because this is a thicker ribbon. So you want to bring your sentiment up, otherwise it's going to look weird and it's not going to lay nice. So I am going to just put my dimensionals. And if anyone doesn't isn't used to that name, it is um, just foam, little pieces of foam. See? And it pops your layer up that you're adhering these to. So it gives your um, project a little bit of dimension. Now, remember, we're not going to put anything in the middle because our ribbon's going to go there. And we don't want it even higher on top of the ribbon. We're just trying to keep it the same height as the ribbon. So take all those off. I'm not sure where my garbage can went. Okay. Oops, I almost forgot. we got to tuck it underneath this. 
probably could have, should have done the bow after, but I did it the first time like this too. You know what? I didn't put that up quite high enough, so we're going to move this up. There we go. You can always, always fix a card. Not always, I shouldn't say that. 99% of the time, you can fix a card. And just like that, I had to go up a little bit. And there you go. There's our first card. How cute is that? So this one is made just like Shelly's kit. And with this one, you're going to use the blue. Um, Hi, Joyce. Thank you for joining me. Um, you're going to use the one with the feather on it. Now, you will see tonight that I, I'll show you the different sentiments, but I made a lot of mine as thank you cards because I'm actually going to use these for um, my thank yous, number one, for my customers that ordered from me this month. Plus, I had a birthday in May, so I need to send out birthday cards, thank you notes. So I will be using these. This one we're going to use is the bird's nest. And it, it has the pretty bird's nest on the front of the envelope. Very pretty. So this one we're going to use is called Hugs for You. So, whoops, you know what? There's a string inside. I was trying to be so prepared and get things ahead of time, I forgot I had it in there. Okay, so this one is going to be, says, Hugs for You. Again, bone folder. Now, I am not doing any coloring on this nest, but you will see my other two cards, I do color in the nest. Okay, so we're going to, this, I don't know if you can see the texture of it. It's really pretty. I don't even know how to explain the texture. You know what it reminds me of, and you guys are going to laugh. It reminds me of bathrobe material, that fuzzy bathrobe material. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is, and I will tell you, I struggle with this all the time. You know how the people put the circles underneath and it looks so pretty? How did they get perfect circles? I can't do that to save my life. So I'm supposed to wrap it around like this. And I believe this is 29 inches. It tells you in your directions how long to make it. And you're supposed to put it on. So this will go over it. Hey, that's actually pretty good this time. Now, to adhere it, they, the direction says to use blue dots. I definitely put this ribbon on too tight. It keeps working my thing. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it in place with one and sticking it underneath. Whoops. Or you can stick it on your nail. That works too. And then it doesn't stick to the paper. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's try that again. New glue dot. And I just stick the glue dot underneath it and just press it down into it. And up here. And I'm not too worried if I don't get too many in here because we're going to be putting the sentiment on it and that's going to help hold it in place too. Oh goodness, come on. I'll be using a lot of glue dots today, so that will definitely loosen up. Okay, I'm going to put one more over here. I do go glue dot happy once in a while. All right, now then for our flowers, there are going to be off of this little sheet here. All the pink ones come with one that has two flowers and one that has one flower. And what I did was I just used snail adhesive on the back of these to adhere them on here. And again, you're going to want to use the dimensionals because of the um, twine here. I guess I'm calling it twine ribbon. The fuzzy stuff. That's what we'll call it, the fuzzy stuff. And this one, you don't have to keep, you know, because it's all over. So I just kind of put where I thought would hold the best. Oops. And one more. There we go. Um, also, if you are a customer of mine, don't forget, you can sign up for my retreat on October 5th. Um, it's a one-day event. We'll have lunch, sir. You will get lunch. Plus, it's like taking three or four classes 
in one day. It is going to be so much fun. You can find out more about it at stampinscrapper.com. I'm really excited. It is going to be, I think I told you, October 5th. There. And there you go. That one's done. Woohoo! Okay, so the second card's done. So we'll put that in here. And then I know I finished it. Okay, we'll stick both of those in there. Okay, now the next one. Now these four that I'm doing, I'm doing just as the kit says to do, and then my other ones are fun ones. I had a lot of fun playing with this um, kit, and um, I'm really excited about the cards. I love how some of them turned out. Okay. Now, again, you're going to wrap it around here. So I'm going to use my tweezers again. For me, it's easier if I turn it sideways. Are we kind of eating? No, we're not even at all this time. I'm trying to get it even more even this time because it'll be easier to tie. There we go. Okay. So I want it more towards the top. Pull it tight. Use my tweezers again. That wasn't very tight because that's really loose. Let me do it again. There we go. Okay, much better. This with this um fuzzy stuff, as I'm gonna call it, it has it kind of stretches a little bit. So when I thought I had it tight enough, it definitely was not. Okay, where'd you go? I got my nails redone um, over the weekend, and I went to a new place because I wasn't sure if my place that I normally go to was open because of the tornado. And I have to say, I miss my other lady. I really liked how she, my usual lady, does them. Okay, I just want to make this a little bit bigger. Now I'm just playing with the bow to get it the way I want it. There, okay. So I wanna cut off the end. And I have a pair of scissors that have a ribbon on it that I only use for um, cutting my ribbon. Hi Brittany, hi Ann. I'm so glad you could join me tonight. Now here is, we're gonna pop it up again. So we're gonna just, I use the Hello Friend. Get out my handy dandy tool. And on this one, I just put four. And you know what? Where is, oh, there they are, the birds. I gotta take those out of the back basket. Okay, so we're gonna just tuck this under here a little bit. Put it here, and then grab a bird. Okay, now to adhere him, I just used a glue dot. I just put it in the bottom, I mean on the bottom, in the back of, on the back of him. Come on, move. There we go. Right. There we go, a little bit. Mm, he's sticking. There we go. Mm -hmm. There it is. And there, how easy is that? So easy. Okay, that one's beautiful. And again, that envelope, whoops, it's right here. It has just the flowers on it. Go ahead and put those two in there. All right. Now, one more. Okay. And actually, for this one, we're going to make this one right here. But we are going to bring out this. And you're probably thinking, why do we need this? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick that I thought of earlier. And I forgot to get out the pencil. Let me grab it here quick. Okay. So 
see how, um, sorry, I hit my computer, didn't mean to do that. See how they have the stamping here and here? But how do you know where to put it? Because like this one is down, I feel, a little too much. So I was trying to come up with a way to figure out how to line that up. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this is where I punched it out at. So I'm going to put this where I kind of want it. So I'm thinking, hmm, that looks pretty good right there. Line it up. And I'm going to make a little mark here and a little mark here. Just so I know. See, I want to put a little mark on this side and a little mark up here. Where it's at so I know where to stamp it. So this one, we need to get out our flowers. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it up here. So I know the point's up there. So I want to bring it up just a little. And then we have this one down in the corner. Whoops, I got to bring it up. Sorry. So I'm going to this one down like that. Perfect. This is up. Now, on this one, we want to do, you know what? I didn't cut the ribbon for that one. I totally forgot. Let me grab some ribbon. Okay, so we want two strips. We're going to cut here. Do it again. I'm not too worried about it being straight because I'm going to trim it and again get my glue dots out. I'm not going to put it on the end because I will lift that up to cut where exactly where I want it. And if I need to, I can add another glue dot. Oops. I got one again. Let's try another one. There we go. Line up your card. I use my grid paper all the time for lining things up. Sorry, decided I wanted to go up a little bit. That's awful high. Let me see. It is. I'm going to come down just a little bit. There. Okay, and I'm going to get my other piece right away because I'll trim them both at the same time. One thing, if you're working with this ribbon, um, if when you put the glue dots on, you want to press pretty hard because they don't always um, want to stick right away. Okay. I'm just going to put this one right underneath it. Okay, so now we can trim it. Do the other side. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, so I already went ahead and stamped the thank you dear friend now for this one i kind of wrapped it around my two fingers like this to put on here and then i just kind of squeezed it together and stuck it on with a glue dot no rhyme or reason i know that's not really okay so that looks good so what i did then is i took a glue dot yes i'm going using lots of glue dots and I stuck it, oh, that looks good. And then I just put this right, took the center and put it right in center of that glue dot. There, okay. Now I'm just gonna trim this little piece off because it's sticking out. Okay, so that's gonna hold that in place. And then you're going to take one of the blue flowers from your sheet of flowers 
and you're going to put dimensionals on the back of this because of this you want it raised now I want it to go like this but remember we got that twine under there so you're going to want to put your glue dots up here on the top and down here not your glue dots your dimensionals now let's want it up here and I want one down let's see here it's not sticky on the other side yet, which is nice, so then I can play with it. There, and it holds it perfectly in place. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my ribbon. Now again, this ribbon's thick, so we wanna put it only on our edges, the top and the bottom. Just make a little stockpile over these little tabs or backings. I swear I find these all over the house. The little daycare kids love it. They think it's funny finding it in silly places. Okay, I'm just going to put this on here. Just looking to see if I can see my lines anymore. Okay. That looks good to me. I just laid it on here. I have not pressed it down. Because that way you can move it around to exactly where you want it. I like that. Push it down. And there you go. So there. And so we have this one. Oh, and it comes in the paper, the envelope with the flower on it. And we have this one. And this one. And this one. So this is the way the kit is to be made. Which is beautiful. But you know me, I can't do anything that you're supposed to do. You know, you gotta have a little fun and change it up a little bit. So I decided I was going to play and see what I could come up with. Now I will say a couple of my designs I did find online because I loved how they turned out. I tweaked them a little bit, but the bases of the designs and then the rest of them, I think I only did that on two of them. The rest of them are my designs. Okay, so this is, my first one here is the card and what I did was I use this we're gonna I'm gonna cut this off but don't throw this away because I'm gonna use it on another card and we have this ribbon and it is these two are going to be in the new catalog that goes live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time it has the twine and it has this beautiful Crumb cake ribbon. It's part of the um, Good Morning Magnolia suite and beautiful. So we're going to use that this time on this one. And remember, I like the shapes of that. And guess what? We have that was carried over from the occasions our stitch nestled labels. No, these are new this year. Sorry. These are the new ones. These, I believe, are with the Bird Ballad suite. Um, you know what? I have my catalog right here. Let me quick check it out, but I believe that's the Bird Ballad Suite that those come with. It's a bundle, and when you buy bundles, you get to save 10%, which is really good. I can't show you the inside of the catalog until tomorrow, or otherwise I'd show you where I'm looking. It's called Free as a Bird Bundle. So and then those are in there, and what's really nice is when you cut out the design, um, actually, I have one right here. I'll show you. I was working on projects this weekend for my um, kickoff party on Friday. And look at, this is, um, I did a rectangle one. It leaves the stitch mark on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. You see that, how it leaves the stitch mark? Now this is the negative of what I was cutting out. And so it's really neat. You can do a lot of things with these framework, or, no, dies. Sorry, with these dies. Okay. So what I did was, I used the same shape. I just stamped hello friend on a piece of very vanilla paper and this is balmy blue so what I did was cut out a card base of crumb cake and it is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter now we're going to kind of work on this backwards we're going to go from the bottom 
up on this card. So you see on the bottom how I have a design around the edge? Well, what I did for that was there are dots in the, um, this um, stamp set. Oh, here it is. And so what I did was I just took this and I just stamped the edges all the way around. Now you want to move your stamp in different directions because you don't want the same pattern. So I just stamped it all the way and you don't have to go far in because we're going to put the blue paper there. And you can see I'm pressing too hard. Look at, I'm getting too much ink on my um, stamp. I'll show you in a minute. And with this stamp, it's not getting, can you see all the ink I have on here? That's because I was pushing too hard on my ink pad. You gotta remember, tap, tap, tap. I was not remembering, tap, tap, tap. Okay, now on this card, I wanted to soften it and give it a little bit of an antique -y look. So I just took a sponge with the early espresso and I just went around all my edges. You don't have to put a lot of ink on it. I'm just very lightly tapping it on the ink pad. This one I went a little bit, um, I'm just lightly going up a little bit more to get it kind of covered in. And then I just went around like this and just did the edges. Okay, we're going to be using that a lot more. So now for this one, what I'm going to do is I am going to cut it off right at the crease mark. And that should be at three and a half inches. I don't know if you can see that. See, it measures three and a half inches. So we're going to just cut it off. But like I said, don't throw this away because I'm going to use it for another project. So what I want to do with this one is I'm going to color it. And I am using Balmy Blue, Petal Pink, um, Old Olive, and Crumb Cake. So I'm going to do my eggs first. I didn't do my blends on here, but I'm going to show you a way you can use the Stampin' Write markers and get a little bit of blending with them. Not as, you know, nice, but you can do it. So I painted, I just colored them in, right? So I'm going to come back in here and see where these little dots are. That's where shadow's supposed to be. I just go over it, and I'm doing little circles. And that's how I get a little bit extra color when I am using these markers, uh, they don't blend in the greatest, but if you do circles, it works. And see how I got a little bit of shading on them? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice went up. Okay, now I took the petal pink, and I'm going to go just around the edge here a little bit. Now this is a card that I got my inspiration from another demonstrator but I changed it up a little bit for my style but she was definitely my inspiration and I apologize I don't remember who I saw that who made this I saw it a while ago and so I was trying to do it by memory So how's the weather where you guys are? Today it's chilly here. I am in Dayton, Ohio area. And yes, we made national news. We had a very, very bad tornado in our town last Monday night. We were very, very, very blessed. And it did not do any damage to our home. It hit about, oh, I'd say a mile and a half, two miles from here. But, oh, my goodness, people, it is sad. You know, you see the pictures on 
the um, news and you feel bad for the people that are going through it, and you try to empathize with them, but I'm telling you, it's nothing like seeing it in person. Mark and I went out Tuesday, last Tuesday and just drove around a little bit. We didn't go in the hardest hit areas. And I literally just sat in the car and cried. It is just so devastating. But we will come back. And the outpour of love and how the neighbors are getting together and helping each other is just so wonderful. So now I'm using the crumb cake on the nest. And I'm also going up the little, you could do these in green if you wanted. I just wanted to bring in some of the crumb cake on up here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do a part. I put the put a pink out because I forgot to do a section. I'll show you what I'm putting this. Oh, I put it down too far. Sorry. And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just lightly coloring them in to give them some, a little bit of color. And then what's nice about this part is you can just color away. You don't have to be precise. It's a nest. It's not supposed to be precise. Okay, so then what I did when I got closer to the pink, I did again, I just did in circles, lightly in circles, and that helps blend it in so you don't have a, a solid line. I'll bring it up closer so you can see how I just blended that in a little bit. Okay, what I forgot on the petal pink is there, whoops, wrong end. There are some just little dots here. And so I was just going, I just went like this and just kind of, Put little dots there too, so to bring a little bit of the pink in it. Okay, so that's how I colored that. Now, again, I'm going to use the sponge and go around the edges. And I'll also show you something else I did. Okay, so I did all my edges. And so this, the center to me was still just too bright. So what I did was I didn't put any more ink on it. And I lightly rubbed it. And I mean really light. It's almost like a feather. And I'm just going around the edges around the nest. And I'm going right over my coloring. But see how that softened it even more? And it wasn't much. There wasn't much to it. So now we're going to go ahead and attach this to our balmy blue cardstock. Oops. And I cut that at the wrong size. Yes, I did. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. I got to go get a piece of balmy blue. All right, let's see what size we have this at. Where's my ruler? Okay, so this should have been cut at, I believe this is four and by five and a quarter, but let me double check. Um, three and three fourths. See, I was way off, wasn't I? By five and a quarter. So get out the trimmer. Okay, so three and three fourths. About five and a quarter. There. Now we have the right size. Okay, I bet it fits a lot better now. Not sure what size I cut that one out. Okay, now before I do any more, I need to put on my ribbon. And I have one shorter than the other. Um, let's see here what I cut these at. This one is at six and a half. And this one is at 
four and a half. So we're gonna put this one on first. And what I do is I just put a piece up here and here. Now you can also, some people use um, scotch tape on it. I do not do that. I just use my adhesive that I have laying around. Sometimes I use glue dots. Just depends what I'm in the mood for. And wrap it around. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put dimension. Did I pop that? Yeah, I did. We're going to put dimensionals on that. Now, this has the edges on it. I will just use these. I don't. I have a pair of scissors that I use just for adhesives, you know, cutting um, sticky stuff, but I don't have it out here. But so what I'm going to do is just go ahead, put these on here, but then I'm going to cut these and use them. I use every last piece of my adhesive that I can use. I'm just cutting them into small pieces to put on around. And I'm going to put one in the middle. Right. All right. I'm going to add set this to our card base. Now this is going to be a little bit, so usually how I tell you about doing the make sure all three sides are even. On this one, we can't do that because it's a little bit taller than wider. I didn't want to cut any of the design off. Okay, there. All right, now we're going to take our two pieces here, and I'm just going to snail the back of this one. Okay, and again, you want to do, because we're going over ribbon, you want to just do your adhesive on the top and the bottom. And this is where those straight little pieces here work great. So nice and skinny. Okay, now I'm going to put it towards this side because I want to put a knot right there. So what I'm going to do is take my small piece, my four and a half piece, and I'm going to just stick it underneath this one. I did not adhere it. I only adhered it on the back. And all I do is just tie a basic knot. And I only do it once. Pull it tight. where you want to go this time. Okay, and then I trim it, and I'm done. And there you have another alternative to the paper pumpkin. And there you go. Cute. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so are you ready for the next one? Let's, um, let's just put these over here. We'll make a pile. Okay, here's my next one. I think I have like six or seven that I made. So... I'm trying to go a little quicker, so you guys, um, what you call it, not here all night to see these, which I would love it if you stayed with me all night. <laughs> okay, so what I did was, this is a very vanilla card base, and you know what? I forgot to put this inside my card. I, uh, my last card, I took a piece of very vanilla cardstock, just adhered inside. Now this one, it is light, your base is, so you don't have to. I just do because I have so many Things on the front of here, I want this to be a little bit stronger. So I just put very vanilla inside that one. Okay, so now for this one, 
Oh no, what are we gonna do? How did I do this? Oh, let me show you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, and I, and this is, I'm going against everything I usually tell my um, customers. I always tell them to put their tape on this so you know exactly where to go at, but this time I want you to put your tape on this. So you're gonna go like this, and I put one down the center, and you're literally going to take this, and I'm gonna bring this one over because I don't have my um, normal grid paper that has the measurements on it, so I am going to use this as my guide where to put it. But you're going to put this and line it up in the center. That looks good. And you're just going to tape it on. But wait a minute. It's too big. That's silly. Sure. That's when you bring in the scissors and you just trim off that excess. And you don't, I don't think, don't throw these away right away because I don't think I used this one. Um, this strip on another card, but I know I was doing this on another card and I used the strip. So hold on to those strips so you always can use them on a different card. Oops. I usually use my bigger scissors, but I don't. I didn't bring them over here. I just grabbed my ribbon ones. See, you have these two pieces that you can easily use on another project. So I'll just put those off to the side. So I don't want to get rid of those. Okay, so now I'm going to put my ribbon across here. Again, with my glue dots. That's getting easier to move. Keep going closer to me. I apologize tonight for that. I'm not sure why I keep doing that tonight. Oops. See, I didn't push that one down hard enough, and when you pull it up, it takes the fuzzy off the back. Yeah, make sure you push hard. Okay, and we're gonna put that, and I'm just doing it to cover up the seam. Okay, again, I'm gonna come in here and trim. Whoops, didn't trim that one very nice. Because I'm not using the right scissors, am I? I don't have my, I don't use my ribbon scissors. That's why it wasn't trimming very nice. There. Oh no. Okay, I thought for a minute I trimmed a glue dot, but I didn't. Okay, so I went ahead and stamped this again. Um, I did the thank you friend on this one. So I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of that. Now this one, you don't have to just do the edges because we're not going over anything. Okay, so we're gonna bring this in. I'm gonna put a glue dot on there. Okay, I want to grab the dot to put on the edge of this one. There. Okay, so now we're gonna use the blue flower again. I just put it on with adhesive, but I am like this card just needs a little something. I kept looking at it. What does it need? Oh, I don't like that. Then I saw it needs some bling. So I colored it with Wink Estella and put some shimmer on this paper, this flower. See the shine? See, look how pretty that is. And that's all there is to it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's number two. Let's go on to number three. 
Now, I did see one like this online, and um, she used a different stamp. I can't remember which one she used, but again, I needed thank you cards, so I thought, well, I'm going to do mine with thank you. Now, this one I did not stamp because I want to show you how I stamp this. Do our, again, make sure our crease. So, what I did with this one is I used the thank you stamp. Let me see where, thank you, where are you? There we go. Okay, and I used the early espresso ink. This one. Now, when you have, usually we go like this to try to ink it, and we're turning our stamp 50 million different ways. If you just turn it like this, it's perfect. I used to do that for all the time, and someone told me that. I was like, oh, that's brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it full ink right here. I'm going to do this one right here. That's going to be my center. It's going to be my furthest one out. And then I'm going to stamp it again right after it. So that's my first stamp off. Now, everyone after this, I'm stamping off each time. Sometimes I will stamp off more than once. So I'm stamping off, and I'm going to come in under here, and I'm going to stamp, and I'm going to stamp again. This one, I want to, now this one I even went lighter. So I'm going to stamp once, stamp twice, and then come in and stamp again. Now this one you're not going to see because of our decoration here. And this one I only stamped off once. Oh, I went up, started, must have started up further. So we might have to do another one. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to do another one or not. Let's see. If I don't like it, we'll restart. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so then up here, I stamped off again. And I'm just making my way up this time. Stamp off twice. One, two. Oh. And then we're going to go here. Ah! Okay, don't like that. Redo, 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 redo. That's what's nice about cards. You can redo them. Let me go get another card base. Don't like how that one turned out at all. So what's nice is I can always cut this off, flip it over, use this side, and I have this side. I'm going to clean my stamp, and I'll show you how to cut your paper. Move this off to the side. We're going to cut it at, but we're going to score it at four and a quarter on the 11 inch side or eight and a half inch side and cut it at five and a half. And that is how you do your card bases. So let's go ahead and start this over because I really did not like how that turned out. So do you guys ever do that where you start over? Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining. Okay, let's do this again. What I'm going to do is this is going to, because I don't have my normal grid paper that I use, usually use when I'm stamping. It has the um, measurements on it. Okay, so we want to go like right here. Okay. I'm going to go out again. All right, now I want to come in and go down a little bit. I wasn't going down far enough, I think is my problem. Okay. This one I stamped off twice. I'm bringing it in. They are much better. You know what? I can tell why I'm getting all the ink over there. I can feel that I'm pressing harder on that end when I'm inking up my ink pad. I mean, inking up my stamp. I can feel it. Okay. All right. See, I just did it again. Darn it. I even got the block dirty this time. 
not sure what I'm doing now. Okay, let's do this again. Could be the way I'm holding it tonight. We're going to stamp off, and we're going to come up here. That's good. Do it again. There, that was, that's looking much better. I'm stamp off twice. Okay, and then one more time. There, yay! Much better than the last time. Woohoo! Oops. Okay. Okay. All right. I went ahead, and what I did was one of one of the medium um, sentiment pieces. I did the um, dots like we did on our first card, these dots, and I just stamped them all over on here, cut it in half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use dimensionals on the back of this. I did not decorate this until I had it on my card. It was just easier for me to do it that way. Yeah. And we can throw that one away and here's the new pack. I just want to put one on the top. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this, and I did pop this up. And I'm going to put mine, because I remember I made that little bit, it would go very dark. So I want to make sure I cover that one up. I'm going to put it right here. And now I'm going to um, get two of my feathers. And I thought I made a bow for this. I thought I already made the bow for this, and now I can't find it. And I know I made it earlier. I'll just make another one up. Okay, I glue dots again. Remember, make sure you're going on the dark. And we're only going up this far on it. So let me move up. For some reason, I am moving back to bite. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. What oh, sticking to me? Did I really? Ugh. I just put the glue dots on the wrong side. Ah! Okay. What I'm doing is I am taking my paper piercer and I'm just lightly, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm just lightly lifting it up. Don't pull fast, just gradually pull it off. And it will come off and you can save your project. Oops. I got thinking about the tornado and all the people and now I'm messing up. Oops, I gotta put this down so I can do this. There. See, it took it perfectly off. That's one thing you don't want to pull when you're you need to take off glue dots. Don't pull real fast. You just want to gradually take them off. Some of these weren't totally stuck on yet, which was good. You know, like that. This is they're like that sticky stuff. You know, like when you get um, coupons in the mail, and they can have that sticky stuff on it. That's what these are like. You just have to be careful taking them off. There we go. Okay. Now we can flip them over and put them on the right side. Okay, so I want to flip up this side. There we go. Let's try this again.
Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it so much. I would love it if, every, if all of you could do that for me. I gets my name out there a little bit more. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining. Yay, Michigan. I was up there two weeks ago, I think it was, to see my mom. Oh, my gosh. It was so cold. Okay. Now, I'm just overlapping these a little bit. And I know as soon as I get off, I am going to see, find the ribbon or the bowl that I made. Because I thought I threw it in the bag, but I don't see it. So I, I don't know if you guys have these little handy dandy bow makers. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, oh, I do have just trying to. Okay, so I made on this card. I made what's called a triple bowl. So you take this, you get two. There's, you can buy these from people. These are pegs. I've had this a long time. Someone made them. But literally, you wrap it. I'm doing triple, so I'm going to wrap it around three times. Left over right. Oops. Go under the bridge. I call it the bridge over and tie a knot. Then I need to trim this. Let me tie it tight, pull it tight, and voila, you have a perfect bow every time. How cool is that? So again, glue that. I'm going to put this right, whoops, on the bottom. And then I'm going to trim these because these are way too long. And that is the next card. There we go. Okay, I'm just cleaning up a little bit, getting stuff out of the way so I can get going on the next card. Okay, now next one. Is this one. We are going to be making this one. Now on this one is where I brought in another color. I brought in the um, Pretty Peacock, which is one of our new in colors. And remember I told you to save this piece of paper? Well, this is why, because I used it for the background on that. And I'll show you what I did. But first let's do our stamping. Now this one is a small one. I kept this one small. Now, because I put the birds on it, you could use the envelope that has the bird, the feather on it for this. So I brought in this time the Sailing Home. This is a new stamp set that um, will be live tomorrow. You can get beautiful, so many wonderful projects out online with it already. And I've done, and um, I've done a couple of these. And actually, this is going to be the theme of my catalog kickoff party on Friday night. Everything's going to be nautical. Okay, so we want to switch out my inks. So I'm going to use this time the pretty peacock, and I'm using the lighthouse. And I'm just going to, I stamp sideways. I know I'm weird. And I'm just going to put it on here. Perfect. Love it. My shammy's definitely getting a workout over here tonight. Okay, now we're going to do the two birds again. Now this time, again, I laid this here so I could see where I wanted the birds to go. So this time I used two of these and only one of the bigger ones. So I'm going to do the big one first. So I'm going to want him about up here, and I made him close to the top. And that's the only time that one I used for him on that. And then this one, something just fell. I'm not quite sure what. Um, we're going to do up here. Oops. Like this. Now, this one I did not stamp right away. I waited until I got my sentiment on. 
So what I did was for that, to do the outline on that, I took that piece of paper that we had from the other card with the bird uh, nest. I cut it down to one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Then what I did was I had just adhered this right on here and I centered it. And this is where you want to make as close as you can get your ends. Whoops, I did it again. I keep going down, ladies. Um, I, um, you want to make sure your ends are as close as you can get them, you know, even wise. Then what you're going to do is you're going to just take this and you're going to cut out the same distance that's right here. So I just cut it out all the way up to the tip and then come back in and do it this way. Okay, now see, I don't like how that looks, so I just come back and I trim it. There. See? Now you have your own mat for this. I'm going to do the same thing on this end. And come back and do it over here. And there you go. You just made a mat for your sentiment. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to my card. And I did not pop this or anything. I just left it. And um, this isn't here down tight. I just laid it there. So I need, okay, uh, let's go up a little bit. There. Now I'm going to come back in with the bird. And I'm going to add my last one in so I know exactly where I want him. And there he is. There it is. And that's it for that card. That was a very easy, fast card to do. If that is a great one for a masculine card. So I don't know about you, but there are times that I really struggle with the masculine cards. And that's all there is to that one. Okay. Next one, we're almost done, ladies. And I got two more after this. What am I doing? Oh, goodness. I do have kept you here. I think this is the longest Facebook Live I've done. Well, look how cool this card is. I love this card. Okay. Oh, look, I made a bow for this one, but not that one. All right. I knew I made a bow. This one, I'm going to show you how I stamped the sentiment because. On this, out when I get to the sentiment, I'll show you what I mean. Why I wanted to show you. So again, we're going to do our bone folder. And I've just cut out a piece of um, very vanilla. And you could easily stamp this, um, stamp a uh, feather on this if you wanted to on the inside and on your envelope. So we need to cut this just like we did the other one. Again, don't throw this out. Because you, I don't remember if I used it, but it will come in handy, I'm sure, in another project. So I'm just gonna cut this right off. Okay, so put that up there. I don't remember if I need that, okay. So, Again, we're going to stamp on this with the feather this time. And I used the, both colors, the Peacock and the Early Espresso. And there was no rhyme or reason for this. I just started stamping, making sure that I put odd numbers on. You, you always want to make sure that you're doing odd um, numbers. Okay, let's put this one here. And then let's bring this one. Bring it in. Hmm. <laughs> All kind of coming in. Let's go like this. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this. Did I you know what? I'm thinking I did I did. I ended up going in and stamping. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna go ahead and do whoops. I have enough ink on it. I'll do that one. 
Now you want to make sure you clean it real well, very well because you don't want any of that dark, the uh, blue to go into the brown or the brown to go into the blue. So now we're going to bring in our brown. I'll go ahead and stamp this one inside. And I just kind of overlapped them a little bit. Oh, you can't see because I'm down. I'm not sure what is my deal tonight. I apologize. There. And I just put those two in this side. So we're going to go ahead and fill this in. So you can see what I'm doing. We're going to fill this in with... Um, the brown. Let's do it here. Let's see. Let's see. Like I said, I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just stamping and trying to fill in. Hmm. Like that. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So I'll end there. Close this up so we don't get it on. Oh, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and stamp our sentiment while we have the ink pad out. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you on the stamp set. Thank you. Okay. And okay. So I'm gonna do my thank you first. And I am going to put it up just a little bit higher, not a whole lot. Perfect. I love the font of this set too. Okay, now I just want the friend. I don't want it. This one says dear friend. So what's nice is because remember, we could put dear friend and go with the the Y could be in between it. Whoops. The Y could be in between the dear and friend. That's nice because, let me bring this over. You can just easily ink up the friend. Bring this up here so I can show you what I did. I just inked up the word friend. I did not do the deer. And I brought it back down here. Line it up. And I'm just going to stamp right here. And there you go. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with this. We'll go ahead and close that up. And we can get this adhered to our crumb cake. Again, I put a backing on here, so I wanted a little bit more color. Put this on. Okay, and then I didn't have a piece of ribbon for that, but I know I had an extra piece. Which is perfect because I used all the ribbon from my first kit for all of these cards. How awesome is that? So I did it again. Okay. Now I'm just going to put this across here like that. And I'm going to trim it. This one is not straight. Yeah, much better. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to go ahead and pop it. Again, we're going over the thick ribbon. So we want to make sure that we are doing our 
dimensionals on the edge, top and bottom. We want to go over the ribbon. Oops. Oh, this one's being stubborn. Okay. If this one doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to take my fingernail and push it in. And that usually will lift off the top. There we go. He is being a stubborn guy this evening. Goodness, these are stubborn. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna just pop this on here, just centering it. Oh, it's like I know I had a bow in here. Put this on. Put that right there. And we're going to use our last feather. Let me make sure I'm putting it on the right way this time. I'm just going to put this on side here and that is your next card okay almost done Woo -hoo. all right um yes this is the one I want to do next okay so for this card I am going to use this paper right here but I am going to cut this a little bit different this time because I need to keep a strip that I'm going to use for my other one, my next card. So what I'm going to do is, um, first we're going to cut it down here. I think I wrote on the back how big I needed this. I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut these. And so we're going to keep this in case we may need to use it again. One and seven eighths by two and three eighths. So I'm going to bring it over and do two and three eighths. And then I'm going to cut it at one and seven eighths. Now, you're not going to get rid of this piece because we're going to use that on our next card. And then what I had done is I took this and I cut it down to the same size, the 1 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 eighths. So I could adhere all of them to my 2 by 2 and a half mossy mellow paper. See my little cheat? No. <laughs> So we're just going to line them up on here. And I didn't make it, I didn't want a big border. So I only did a one eighth of an inch border around them. So each side only has one sixteenth of an inch. Now this, because it's very vanilla paper and I'm using the thick, I did not put anything on the inside of my um, card. So again, we're gonna go ahead and just put a piece of on nice.
And I'm just centering them so these two sides are the same distance. Same thing with here. We're at the same distance. And then I'm going to put this one on here, and I did not pop this one. I just laid it on top. And what I'm trying to do is I'm just laying it here. I want to make sure these are the same distance, and they're, this is about the same distance, too. So I'm just trying to center it. That looks good. Press it down. Now you're going to take your pink flowers. And I put dimensionals on the back of these because I wanted these to pop up. It must be my pack of dimensionals. These are harder to get off. Okay, so this time I'm putting this one up in the corner, left hand corner. I'm going to put this one down here. And guess what? I'm going to add to it. You betcha, Wink of Stella. Let's make those flowers pretty. Now, I only put the Wink of Stella on the flowers that I popped. But you could easily do this if you wanted to on your other flowers that you have on here. It's whatever your little heart desires, as I tell my ladies. It's your card. Do what you want. I love when they take my card and start playing with it and changing it. And there you go. So you can see the little shimmer on there. And there's that card. Okay, one more card. And remember I told you we needed that strip? Of paper well this is why we needed it and this is my last card that we're going to be making tonight now I went ahead and already colored it so that you guys don't have to watch me color two of them so we're going to go ahead and fold this first just stick this on the inside I just had an idea. I have flowers left over, so guess what I'm going to do? Because I didn't have anything to stamp on the inside of this, I am going to take my flowers and I'm going to put them in the inside of my card. So I'm going to put this one in this corner and put this one up in this corner. There, and then I just decorated the inside of my card. And you could easily do that on this card too, is to take in these two and do the same thing add them to the inside of your cards nothing says we can't do that and that way it decorates your card a little bit oops taking with all the backings off my fingers are getting sticky yeah so we decorate that one too okay so getting back to the card okay so what we want to do is we want to cut this off so we're going to line it up again at three and a half inches and just cut it down. Okay, I want to do it again with the doing the edging, but if you notice, I'll get mine out of there. Look at the difference in color. This one's a lot lighter. Bring it down a little bit so you can see it. This one's a lot lighter than this one. And all I did was I used the same ink, but I'm not pressing very hard at all when I'm going to pick up the ink. Like I'm barely touching the ink. And I just want a real light go around the edges. Just I'm just trying to soften it a little bit. That's all I'm doing. I don't want it real dark. Just want to soften. And it is this time it is almost like you're just, it's a feather. That's how light I'm doing it on here. Okay, now same thing with the other one. I'm not going to um, ink this up, but I'm going real light again and just kind of softening it a little bit. But I don't want it dark like my other one. I'm just doing it real light. 
Okay. Um, do I forget to do a sentiment for this one? I did. And I used, okay. I used my last pink one. I forgot I was putting one up there, which is no big deal. Let me make, sorry, stamp the sentiment. I thought I had already stamped this one. Okay, I'll go ahead and stamp it. It is, what did I do? Hello, friend. So we need hello and friend. Okay, get out the ink. Here so you can see it. And again, I'm just inking up the friend part. And this one, I'm centering underneath. Perfect. I'm just going to quick clean these up on my chamois cloth. I do that right away so that I don't accidentally lay something on the stamps and get something on it. And how do I know that? Because I've done it before. Okay, so now we're going to put the card together. Okay, so what I want to do is my other piece of here. We go. No, I want to put this. I'm going to take the strip from my last card that we made. Remember, I told you I wanted to keep the strip. So that's what I'm putting right here. So I'm just going to put it down here. I want to say it's about about a quarter inch on the two sides. Then I'm going to put this one on. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it the same distance, about a quarter of an inch, on two of the sides. Perfect. Now we're going to pop this again. Okay, and I just put it towards the bottom. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these on again. I'm using just adhesive to put them on. I'm going to put this one down here. I'll put this one up here. Okay, and on this one, I added the Wink of Stella, too, and I put one more embellishment on it. Right. And then we're going to add our bird. I just used a glue dot for that. And he's flying down to the nest. And there you go. So let me show you all the cards again. These are the ones that we made originally. So we made this one. And this one. Now, these are the original cards that, uh, how the kit was designed to make. And there. So, those were what the kit is. And you can easily make them all that way. But you know me, I don't like to follow rules. So, I came up with these. And I'll go over them one more time. So, this was the first card I made. Move it over so you guys can see them all. And then this one. And this one, I'm trying to get them all in here. 
hopefully I can. And oops, that's a duplicate. And this one. This one. Oh, that's hard to see, isn't it? My area is not as big as I want it here. We'll just do that one like that. Okay. And then we have this one. And click that one in. All right, and this one. So little guy's getting losing space here, isn't it? There. Okay, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. There we go. And those are the cards that I made. And I made all of these out of one kit, which is adding, I added only one extra stamp. And that was when I did the lighthouse. Um, otherwise, all the sentiments, everything was from the kit. All the embellishments were from the kit, except for the ribbon on this one. And I still had, um, I have two of these left over. I have the two blue ones left over. And I have ribbon left over. And I had a couple of the sentiments um, left over too. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to try to do these at monthly um, to show you the way to do it and alternatives for each of the paper pumpkin kits. Thank you for joining me tonight. Please share this. And tomorrow's the day the catalog goes live. Woohoo! Thank you for joining me. Love you guys. Bye-bye. And there you go.